Yeah, there's a few bees around. There would be this time of year. No sign of any deer, but uh, there are some of the cows that, um, the herds that roam here. There's a little group there under, keeping cool under the um, trees there, look. Keeping out of trouble. And this is all the lovely land here. All the lovely combs. I've just walked around there. And uh, I'll just do a little bit more videoing so that people get an idea of the terrain I'm on. Sometimes I video a lot more than others. But uh, because I have done this so many times, I think, well, people won't really want to view it. But it is a different time. You know, it's a different year. It's a different season. I haven't even looked on the news today. I came out without being polluted in my mind. Because it's not very nice in the news half the time. You've got President Trump of America, and uh, they've got their elections in November. Nobody really seems to know if he'll get in again, or nobody seems to know who would replace him. Um, China are cracking down on Hong Kong, which is losing its status. Um, it'll become the new Chinese province eventually. They see it as theirs anyway. The colonial has nicked it, the British, and they're getting it back. But see, the thing is, the culture there has been very Western and uh, and capitalist. But there's the new capitalism with China, isn't there? You know, it's not a communist place. That's rubbish. It is not communist. As far as I'm concerned, you, there's nowhere communist. It gets a bad name, communism. Basically, it can't exist. It's utopia. Everyone's equal and all that sort of thing. Um, you always get people in power. You like to boss other people about. And all that. And then they get corrupt. You know what I mean? So it loses its whole value. Just really, we were doing quite well in England. I know we were doing bad as well. But we were trying to be, inverted commas, more of a democracy. But this, obviously, we were better than a lot of places. Do you know what I mean? It's just gone downhill a bit in the last 10 years since this terrible right-wing Tory lot I've got in. They're trying to unpick all the good stuff. You know, it's really bad what they're doing, to be quite honest, because it's not progress, it's going backwards, it's regression. It's, it's terrible, to be quite honest. It's uh, not a good thing at all. Polarisation of the classes. There's a lot, awful lot going wrong awful lot now. They've bl they blamed it on Brexit first of all, but they've done Brexit. They created it. Now they blame it on the virus. Anything that they would do to make the rich richer, the 1% richer, stamp on most of us. We're still lucky though. I mean, when we felt it most is when they stopped us going on the buses, when they really hammered down on us. That was that was a feeling of helplessness. Disempowerment. Just having one more look, because quite often you get the deer over there. I can't see now, just have a zoom in. I think they're deep in the combs. People over 
there. Well, it will be up Big Nora Post in a minute, everyone. We've done quite well. I can't believe we're there. Much better than we thought. Let's look at the time. Yeah, I can see my net again now. Let's have a look. God, it's just gone three. We're doing really well. Really well. Because if I've got a kill in now, I'll just go and if I get back to the village, right, big nonna, with lots of spare time, I'll see if I can get a cup of tea. And, um, I just wander around the church again while I'm waiting. And just hope I can get home. That's what happens if a bloody bus don't come and they won't pick me up. He said best to be there at our past. It's awful really, because it's the first time, you see, that's why I've been a little bit anxious, because I kept thinking about that, you know, having to catch a bus. When you've got your own vehicle, you can just so relax, you know. A flask of coffee and the cake waiting for you. Clean socks and shoes. But this is better than nothing. This is brilliant. This is brilliant, everyone. It really is. It's been a beautiful day and I'm glad I've come out. This is the first day we've had that's been, you've been able to have you just, you know, take your jump, jumper off. Um, I mean, I could have had shorts. I, I tend to wear long trousers over here because of the ticks. I don't think it really stops them much, though, to be quite honest. They, if they want to get you, they do. What they do, they cling to your clothing. So the best thing for you to do is um, strip off when you get home. And if you've got someone who can look at your back, because that's where they usually go. Back and legs, they get me usually. And I've had one on my abdomen. And don't forget I had limes. But they killed it in time. I had that doxycycline, what we call it. And uh, we got on it, we, we, we attacked it early and, and, and it worked. And that's where I went down earlier, down to my beautiful Holford. I feel sad already, I'm leaving. I really do. I'd do a bit more walking if I knew this wasn't this fear of the bus. post. That's another route you can do. We just just up, for, up from the one I've done. Runs parallel with it. Macmillan Way. You can walk all the way over there, all the way around. I've done all that. All I've done it all. Not today. Over the years. And here's the post. The big canola post. And all I've got to do now is pick the right track. Weakham Coombe, it's the other side of those trees that I spoke of. But I want to do, it's not straight forward, so I've got to be careful I don't take the wrong turn then. So there we go. Big not a post. Here I am. I'm going up that track there. There is another one, but I reckon this is the one I do. That's a Macmillan way there, that's the spine of the Condox. That goes all the way near Linton and that. Into Devon. It comes all the way from, oh God, Taunton and the other side of there. And And 
here we are back again to Minehead. Those girls would be up over. Could even be there by now, young, and they? And of course, I will be over there eventually. One way or another. Right, over now.